Hello, it is Chantel here and you are watching Studio Expansion TV, connecting, educating and empowering studio owners to redefine their businesses. And today I thought I'd take you behind the scenes of how I shoot a whole year's worth of blog videos in just one day. So I'm a big fan of batching and if I had to remember to film a blog video every single week, it just wouldn't happen. I'm not that organized, unfortunately. So what I love to do is to be able to one day in a year, just sit down and film heaps and heaps of blog videos, get them all edited up so that I can relax knowing my marketing is done. Now, in this day and age, video is so powerful. It's the most powerful way you can connect and grow your studio because people can get a sense of what you're like and be able to trust you and know you even before they walk through the doors of the studio. So if we can have on your website regular blog videos, just kind of like these types of ones, it's gonna help to position you not only as someone with a lot of credibility. The way you talk, the way you share information is gonna show, wow, they know their stuff. They really care about education. They, they sound like the place to go. It's gonna help position you in a really good light. And you can be taught doing blog videos about things like how to help your child practice at home. You know, that's a great topic for you to dive into. You might like to be sharing about what to expect about recital or some things about like, you know, even what to do when your child is disappointed they're not in the front line. You can decide on anything that you think is gonna be really valuable for your families and your students to know and then just turn it into a blog video. Truly, it's one of the best things you're gonna do. So let me show you how I get organized to film a whole year's worth of blog videos in just one day. The first thing I do is I write a whole list of brainstorming regarding topics. And I kind of tend to work in content categories. So I think of a few different big categories that would be interesting to my clients. And then I just write a whole bunch. So here I've done about 25, 24, 25 blog videos. And so I've just got all the titles here. And then just in one book, I tend to just write out some big bullet points and talking points that I'm just gonna speak through. So over the day, I've done this all in advance. So when it comes to filming this video, I just look at this, read the bullet points, and then I'm pretty much off and running. The next thing we do is that I don't do this on my own because that would be really hard. I get some help. And so my cousin Dara is my videographer and, and she's so much more than that. She's amazing. And she helps me to film. So she's there setting up the cameras and setting up the lights and encouraging me when I tend to go into verbal diarrhea and tend to be incoherent, she'll pull me back to be able to talk in a legible way, which is really valuable. And um, just one little note on this. It's, it's worth your while taking your time to think through if you want your partner to be that person. Sometimes it is easier to have someone who's a little removed from the relationship helping you with these. Just a little FYI tip. So the next thing we do is that we tend to hire equipment. So I'm wearing a lapel mic. You can't really see it, but it's just kind of stuck on the underside of my dress which is picking up a beautiful quality of audio. We also have a secondary audio mic just here, which is getting another layer. It's kind of like a backup sound, just in case this one's battery dies or anything like that. And then we have two cameras set up. And this, I have a main camera and I always look to this camera. And then there's a second camera, which kind of captures the side of my face. And the benefit of this is that we can kind of edit them together. So that adds a bit more variety as opposed to just me being front to camera the whole time. Having that kind of change up in the shots gives a lot of depth and it makes it look really fancy pants and professional. So it's worthwhile doing. Now you can probably also see in this setup, we're in my lounge room by the way, so we don't rent a big studio, literally we've just moved all the furniture around, bought stuff in from other rooms, styled it up a little bit, but we're just at home, which is it's nice to be comfortable. But because the lighting, like we've got down lights in here, we bring in, the lighting is essential. If I can tell you one thing, it's essential. So. Here we have these soft boxes, they're called soft box lighting kits and you can buy them on YouTube, um, not YouTube, on eBay really affordably or you can rent them as well. And so we have, it's called three point lighting kits, three point lighting setup. And essentially there's one kind of coming to this side of my face, there's one coming to this side of my face and then one light kind of coming from behind me as well. So that's kind of how you want your lighting setup. So you're kind of being framed on both sides with light 
If you have the light directly in front of your face, it makes you look like a pancake and really flat, which is why we want two on the front and one on the side. That's the best setup that works. And you wanna have kind of some nice pretty things behind you um, in the background as well. So it's got something to look at, a bit of depth of field. So you can see that there's quite a big gap between me and the wall behind. That's because we really wanna show that sense of space that makes it really appealing. You know, essentials here, let's go into the big things. Um, tea is, is, is essential. I like to sip on kind of ginger, lemon and honey because you talk all day, which is really tricky. You want to make your makeup a lot thicker than you would wear on an everyday basis. I mean, I'm talking stage makeup. If you've ever done stage makeup before, you know you kind of put it on with a trowel. It is like super thick but it's really great to make yourself look really professional. I tend to do my own makeup and hair, but if you can get a blow dry, go and get that done as well. We have lots of snacks, chocolate, um, fruit, you name it. You gotta eat through the day, drink so much water. And my other thing that we love to do is we have a bit of a countdown going. So we get a big giant post-it note and at the end of each video, we write it down on our checklist and we're kind of like, we know we're one step further towards completing our run sheet for the day. So today, for example, we're filming 24 blog videos in one day, which will be one blog every two weeks for an entire year. And the best thing about this is once I've finished these, these videos, there's not much more I do after that, interestingly enough. This is my big work thing. So at the end of today, all of the video and audio content will go onto a hard drive. I then send this to an editor who is gonna edit each of the lovely videos. They'll put some titles, they'll put a kind of nice shoo 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 logo reveal at the front. They'll put some calls to action on it and they'll export them all to Dropbox for me. Once I get the videos back from the editor, Michelle, who's our wonderful operations manager here at Studio Expansion, she'll use rev.com to get them all transcribed. Rev.com is a fantastic transcription service. It's about a dollar a minute, and they'll get back to you within like less than 24 hours. So that way you're gonna have the transcript, which you can kind of add into your blog post. You'll have the video sent to you. All that's left is to get it uploaded and up onto the website or onto social media, wherever you like. So. I wanna really encourage you to start using video more in your studio. Truly, the way you can connect and position yourselves as, as incredible prolific educators is magnificent. And if you're nervous about being on video, often it's a great idea to interview some of your students. You know, it might make you a bit more relaxed. You can sit down with one of your students and just ask them some questions about what they're seeking to achieve and what they're wanting to do. And that's a wonderful way for you to, again, to bring that human element to the studio to help give people more of a reason to choose you and go to your studio. Helping to get more sophisticated in your marketing is so important in this day and age. I mean, 10 years ago, we wouldn't have had this conversation, but now video marketing is an essential part of any studio owner's strategy when it comes to studio marketing. And that's what we're passionate about sharing with you in Evolution. This is about helping to give you the most cutting edge studio marketing strategies, but making them easy and accessible. And what we love to do is to help you automate and schedule and batch out a whole year worth of marketing in your studio so that you don't have to do it at all. And we're so proud, like even in the last six months, we've had many of our clients get 12 months worth of marketing completely automated. And would not that be the most heavenly, heavenly thing? So if you're curious about finding out more about Studio Evolution and how you can completely streamline all of your marketing, head on over to studioexpansion.com forward slash evolution. And there you'll find a short little application form to tell us a little bit more about your studio, what you're wanting to achieve and how you'd like to systemize and grow your business. And then we can get in touch and find out whether this is a good fit for your studio. I love these days. I think there's nothing better than just getting it done and being able to really share what you're passionate about with your community. I wanna encourage you to give video a try because truly it's so powerful to help you connect on another level that you've never been able to before. So head on over to studioexpansion.com forward slash evolution if you want more details about our beautiful program. And once again, thank you for watching and uh, we can't wait to see you next time for more episodes of Studio Expansion TV.